Okay, so we had discussed this uh, form the other day, the, uh, the Labanam talk. Who would summarize it? Who would summarize the poem? Again, Akarshita. Akarshita is always the first one to respond. What about the others? How many students? We have 66. See, uh, people uh, are not attending classes regularly. The uh, attendance is mandatory for you people. If there is some emergency on one or the other day, it's okay. But if some classes are going on, that is for you people only. And if you will not uh, attend the classes, I'm going to uh, you know, mark you absent that you know it. Is it clear? So as it is, we I take your classes only uh, twice or thrice a week. Okay, the chapter is a long one, then we take it, uh, thri then it's thrice a week, otherwise it's twice a week. So it is not that much uh, to ask for uh, from you people. If you are having your classes twice a week and you can't even attend those classes. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Bacha. This poem is about uh, a tree, which is the Labunam tree, and it basically the first stanza basically tells us that uh, when nothing, uh, when not, there is no activity on the tree, so the tree is very very um, sad and death-like. There is a death-like scene in the first stanza, and even in the September sunlight, uh, the tree is silent. The word yes. yellow here represents silence, silent death and beauty. Um, in the second stanza, the poet says that uh, a bird, the goldfinch bird, when it comes on the tree in order to feed uh, the, li the little ones, the tree suddenly comes to life because of the sudden jerk movements and the chirpings of the bird. Um, so the, the tree also has a sudden feeling of excitement. Then it says that uh, she, uh, the, the goldfinch bird, the feeds the, uh, the younger ones and then it flies off to, in the sky again. And the death-like scene of the, uh, the the tree, which had come to an end because of the gold flinch, it has come again because there is no activity again on the tree. Yes. So that is the summary of this uh, poem. Let's discuss some of the important things, and then we we'll move on to uh, transfer the uh, epithet and uh, your assignment and other questions. Okay. So let me just share the screen with you people. So these are the NCRT questions. We'll discuss some important things after this. Uh, these are the NCRT questions. Let's discuss them. Okay. So we have already uh, done. What is Laburnum called in uh, your uh, mother language? It is Amaltas. Okay. Which local bird is like the goldfinch? Uh, the name of the goldfinch I told you the other day is very canary. This is Indian Lutino ring neck. This is local bird like goldfinch. Okay. And uh, what do you notice about the beginning and the ending of the poem? Yes, you have to speak up your name because I won't be able to see you people while I'm presenting the screen. Um, Lavnish. Uh, yes, Lavnish. What is common between the... Um, in the beginning the, of... Yes. In the beginning of poem, the tree is calm and silent. Yes. And in the ending, it, it ends with the motionless and empty level. Yes, I agree. after uh, the, the after the bird goldfish flies away, it again uh, subsides to empty. It again becomes empty and motionless and silent. Okay. Yes. So uh, next is uh, to what is the bird's movement compared, and what is the basis for this comparison? Uh, you need to you need to tell your name because I uh, you know I'm not so familiar with your voice that if you say may I. Ma'am. Mankor. Yes, Mankor. Good morning, Good morning. Mute your mic, the others, please. The yes. bird's movements is compared to that of a lizard. Yes. Both are sleek, swift, alert, and abrupt. This is why the comparison is very apt and convincing. Yes, it is appropriate because uh, here the bird's movement is as sleek and abrupt and alert like just that of a lizard. Next is uh, why is the image of the engine evoked? by the poet. We've discussed it, uh, we had discussed it at length during our uh, class. Why is the image of the angel by the poet? Yes, Ishita. 
Ma'am, may I? Ishita, respond. May I? Yes, Ishita, yes, ma'am. The poet evokes the... Yes, ma'am. The poet... It evokes the Ishita, image of engine as it is the source of energy for a machine. The poet compares the yes. word with the... Yes, ma'am. The the poet compares the bird with an okay. The poet compares the bird with an injects are resting. Uh, anybody else who can just add on a few lines may to I? it? Ma'am, may I? You need to say your name, Bachche. Ma'am, Rashmi Khan Kaur. Mehak Kaur, yes, Mehak. Yes, Somebody who's not answered before today, yes, Mehak. Bolo. As the engine is the source to run a machine, uh, the bird is compared to engine as she is the feeder of her family. Uh, yes. and as machine cannot work without an engine, so her family, her uh, chicks cannot live without her. The chicks cannot live without her and they are totally dependent upon her just like a machine is dependent upon the engine. And uh, what do you like most about the poem? This you can write on your own. Okay. And what does the phrase... Uh, yes. What does the phrase her bad face identity mask mean and what is the poetic device that is used here and if you are giving some poetic device you need to give a justification for that also. First of all tell me what is the meaning of this word, this phrase her bad face identity mask. Ma'am may I add in that? Yes Aaron. Ma'am first of all uh, this is an example of the poetic device transferred epithet. Yes. And the uh, laburnum tree has flowers that fall like bars, and when the birds sit behind those flowers, the shadow on her face looks like she is wearing a mask. That yes, has yes. So her face basically is not barred, but when the when, when the sunlight sifts through the leaves and it falls on her, you know, and then it uh, looks like striped face. So the word barred, the adjective barred, it is used with her face. But otherwise, it uh, it refers to the flowers, not to the face. So that is why it is an example of transferred epithet. Because an adjective is used with a noun to which it does not uh, apply. It applies to some other noun. Okay, it applies to the flowers. Because the flowers, they fall in bar, they are barred. But here it is placed before the face of the bird. Okay, the bird's face. So that is why uh, it is uh, an example of uh, the poetic device used here is transfer epithet. Got it? And what do you mean by this phrase, uh, barred face identity mask? So, uh, somebody else from the class? Already, uh, yes, uh, yes, Akashita. Ma'am, uh, over here it's also a phrase because this phrase uh, means that uh, over here that bird had striped uh, marks on her face which looked like a mask. So it can yes, also the be a phrase. Striped marks. Uh, yes, this is a phrase. Striped, striped marks is because of the, the, after the sunlight falls on her face, sifting through the leaves. So it appears to be striped. So that is why uh, it says barred face. And it uh, uh, she uses it as a uh, mask. Okay. So that is why we say it her barred face identity mask. So these are the textbook questions. Let's discuss. Uh, yes. Uh, let's discuss these now. Read the extract given below and answer the questions that follow. Then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt. So we have what poetic device here in the first line. Simile. Yes, sleek as a lizard. Okay, and Ma'am, she ended. And, uh, and, uh, and so oh, man, over here there is alliterations also. Yes. Because there is and, alter and abrupt. Alert and alert and abrupt. She enters the thickness and a machine starts up. Off chitterings and a tremor of wings and trilling. The whole tree trembles and thrills. Who is she in the second line and where does, uh, where does uh, she enter? Who is she? Goldfinch. The options are given, but you have to speak from the options. Mother Goldfinch. Mother Goldfinch who enters the thickness Mom, of the the burner. Option D. What does a machine refer to in the extract? C. Mom, option option C. number C. Yes, it refers to the nest of the goldfinch where its um, young ones are staying. So C. Next is find a word 
from the extract which is not a synonym of entire something which is not a synonym of entire yeah they call so whole actually ma'am b option b option b option b whole whole this whole actually then complete whole and total are the synonyms of entire but actually is not a synonym of it it doesn't mean the same read the extract given below i'll answer the questions that follow then with eerie delicate whistle chirp whispering she launches away so she gives a kind of a warning to uh, the predators and uh, that is why that yes and the laburnum subsides to empty what does launches uh, mean in the b. extract option b it means flying yes yeah, the option b we forgot it yes next is what effect does the last line create what is the effect Ma'am, it creates the contrast between the liveliness of the tree and its leaves. Ma'am, option A. Option A, A. It creates the contrast between the liveliness A. of the tree and its silence. Yes. And somebody says, "Let me in." Somebody has just sent me a message, but I cannot because I'm presenting the screen. Um, you can just add, uh, tell Aditi to wait. From the extract. Same as dash word from the extract means strange and mysterious. Some option B. Yes. Option B. Option B. Number D. So I was just telling you D. Uh, yes, option B. And uh, uh, the engine of a family. You can just write metaphor in one of the options, and you can give it. Okay. No, it will in, be none of the above. None of the above. Yes, it will be none of the none above. None of the above. None of the above. Okay. Next is. Uh, MCQs. Which season has been described in the poem? Autumn season. Autumn season. Autumn. 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 What type of mother is the bird? Ma'am, second. Only second. Ma'am, A and B. Ma'am, first and second. It's option B. It's option B. 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 Me, I have written beta one and two. So it's option D. Okay, one and two. A and B. Yes. So A and B ni bologe na, but chya option D bologe ya, because usme one and two likha hua hai. Okay na? Yahan se dekho to sahi question to karo ek se bhi. Next is uh, how do the baby birds behave on the arrival of the mother bird? Okay. 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 Okay.
Yes, read the passage and answer the questions that follow. And uh, what was once upon a time seen in millions throughout the country are today seen only in certain pockets of India. How sparrows? Why so? Conclusively, there have been no studies to identify the exact cause behind the sudden decrease in the numbers. But studies conducted in Jharkhand, India, have pegged the decrease in sparrow count to be an alarming 80%. What do you mean that pegs the decrease? What is pegs? Pegging something? Mom, noted down or notice? Yes. So uh, this is the reason that uh, they peg the decrease. They noted it down that uh, it is it has come down to eighty percent. And lest you may assume this is not limited to India alone. Okay, so World House uh, Sparrow Day is 20th March 2013. On this World House Sparrow Day, help these cheerful little birds by providing them a bowl of water in which to bathe, then some grain to enjoy, and maybe a small sparrow house for them to use, place somewhere safe. There are a variety of reasons behind the declining sparrow count. Of course, pata hai hai, with some of uh, with some pointing fingers. at the architecture of modern houses which leaves little space for nesting sites add to it the decrease in shrub vegetation areas as well as the result is a drastic loss of habitat excessive use of pesticides is there and then this uh, is another cause as it causes uh, as it causes a decrease in reproductive efficiency of the sparrows by infecting their egg sheets and its diet 
Since the chief diet of sparrows is seeds, cereals, insects, which in turn are the direct victims of pesticide usage. Sparrows are known to be sedentary birds that usually do not prefer undertaking, undertaking long flights. However, with the advent of mobile telephony and the corresponding erection of mobile towers, any and everywhere, this is one of the major reasons, it has made the sparrows an unwitting prey to technology. Mobile towers are known to emit radiation in the frequency of 900 to 1800 megahertz, which not only harms the thin chick skull and sparrow eggs, but they mute your mics, but also confuses and disorients the sparrow's navigational skills. So these are some of the reasons. Uh, and they are rarely or rather never found in areas having mobile towers. The Nature Forever Society, NFS, it was founded by an Indian conservationist, Mohammad Dilawar. He started his work helping the house sparrows in Nasik. Emphasizing the crime need to conserve house sparrows, he said, the indifference caused by a lack of emotional con connect has pushed these birds to the edge of extinction. And the NFS started an international initiative to celebrate World Sparrow Day. This was first celebrated on 20th of March 2010. After that, every year it was celebrated all over the world to raise the awareness about house sparrows and other common birds affected by the environment. And in 2012, the sparrow was adopted as the state bird of Delhi. You have to, based upon this message, you have to match column A with B. There is a one extra statement in column B. Okay, so you have to tell me, uh, you have to match column A, that is paragraph number. Paragraph one talks about what, and then paragraph two, and you have to match uh, the same base. Pele paragraph one per walk. And then you have to tell me. Read it silently. Give the tongue up. Are you reading? Yes, ma'am. Uh, read it and then uh, I'll show the options yes, to you. Okay, so this is paragraph one. Up is missing which the tau. What is it all about? Paragraph one. My idea, fourth can... one, a cause of concern. Yes. A cause of concern. A cause of yes. concern. Yes, good. Then we have next. Up, up, it par central ideas deklo, and then you uh, read paragraph two. Dekhle the central ideas. Should I open paragraph two? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Read it. If you would have your listening skills assessment, then uh, we are going to have something like this, so where I would just read out a passage for you people, and you would be given. You can be given questions like this, where you have to match the columns or fill in the blanks or something like that. Yes, ma'am. Shall we go for paragraph two? Central theme is what? Central theme. Ma'am, option so, number six, the grounds for the problem. The grounds for the problem. The grounds for the problem, yes. Then paragraph three. Ye padlo, ye central idea. We have done a cause of concern. We have done the grounds for the problem. You're left with predatory tech, a resourceful enterprise, reorganizing the need, purposeful technocrats. Okay? Ye aapke central ideas hai. Go through paragraph three now. One, two, and three. Yes. I'm mm -hmm. read it. Yes. Have you read it? 
बताओ पैराग्राफ थ्री यस मैम क्या है बताओ यस मैम बोलो यहां से फिफ्थ ऑप्शन नंबर Yes. Match the following collective nouns with the animals, and then pick the correct option. Okay, you have to match the collective nouns with the animals. Ma'am, first ka fourth. First ka fourth ha, to fir wo kaun si option hui na, beta? First ka fourth hai to. ऑप्शन 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 सी 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 में में भी भी है 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 और डी ठीक ना सो इट इज़ सी ठीक है ऑप्शन सी सी इट इज़ सी ओके फर्स्ट का फोर्थ है मतलब क्या है बताओ जरा पढ़ के बताओ क्या हुआ ये स्कूल ऑफ वॉट स्कूल ऑफ वॉट बोलो Fish is the fish. A school of fish. आगे बोलो. Next बोलो. Second का क्या? A cloud of cat. A cloud yes. of cat. Cloud. Yes. Yeah. And then third. A murder of. A murder, murder of crows. And and. A caravan of camels. Yes. Okay. Next is uh, choose the option that completes the given paragraph by correctly using five of the seven given phrases from the text. these are phrases seven phrases are given to you you have to fill in the five five of them here the small no, artisans okay. and uh, as any bolo as any bolo you will you will say may i and then you will tell your name okay otherwise akashita is going to give all the answers the small artisans and crafts persons of india have been dashed to industrialization have been ma'am may i Medha, yes, Medha, have been an, un an unwitting prey. Have been an unwitting prey to industrialization. There are dash in most regional communities that have for generations relied solely on weaving, handicraft, etc. as a primary source of income. There are dash. Ma'am, may I? May I? Naam batao, Shubhangi. Ma'am, Shubhangi. Yes, ma'am. Haan, ji, Shubhangi. Bolo. Mujhe toh baas ka chandi shuru ho gaya. Main Shubhangi. Bina bina, aapke bataye maine ka chandi. Haan, ji, bolo. Ma'am, six, six options, certain pockets. There are certain pockets. ठीक है जी, बाकी बोलो. Is she right? Yes or no? Say yes, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, I believe it should be crying need. There are crying need. नहीं हो सकता ना कशिता. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so there are certain pockets in most regional communities that have for generations relied solely on weaving, handicrafts, etc. as a primary source of income so it is safe to say that there is a dash to now support these artisans ma'am may i russian han ji russian bolo crying need first of all yes so you will have crying need here akashita so it is safe to say that there is okay, a crying ma need to now support these artisans especially in the face of a ready availability of machine made products imported items and a general dash with our own culture general dash ma'am may i medha yes no not medha medha you have already given so many answers somebody else 
general dads with our own culture what about the boys what are they doing general dash with our own culture pete to aasani se pata chal raha hai seventh option yes lack of emotional lack of emotional connect with our own culture if things continue this way the future truly looks bleak for our local artisans they could well be dash Ma'am, option number two. Ma'am, Akashita, option number two here gone today, tomorrow. gone tomorrow. Yes, they could be here today and gone tomorrow. Okay. So next question says, based on your reading of the passage, complete this sparrow's plea for survival. So it is making a plea to the people for survival, and you have to complete it. Got it? समझ आया ये question आपको? Yes, ma'am. Help, please, humans. As you know, we don't like traveling long distances. but we have to because there's a loss of habitat due to decrease in dash and loss of dash decrease in kya hai ma'am may i shubhangi yes shubhangi ma'am decrease in shrub vegetation areas and yes. loss of yes. nesting sites loss of nesting sites loss of habitat bhi ho sakta hai theek hai and uh, moreover dash has made it difficult for us to find food what has made it difficult mam pesticides the pesticides and the the mobile towers the mobile towers have uh, have made it difficult uh, for us to find food we request you to make dash for us better environment better environment for us or uh, or you can say nests for us and uh, um, to say say uh, to stay safe and also put out dash so that we don't go hungry grains and, and thirsty water. yes grains and water so that we don't go hungry and thirsty and we promise to reward you with happy sounds and sights in return okay next is The text states that the World Sparrow Day is celebrated all over the world by cause dash in order to dash. Why is it celebrated? Because, ma'am, because there is very loss, a decrease in the their amount in the number of, the number of sparrows. They are on the uh, they are on the verge of extinction actually. And in order to save them, right? in order to save them, or in order to just create awareness uh, about them. and about the the sparrows and other birds too okay next is uh, the following is today's delhiites response to the fact that the sparrow was adopted as a state bird of delhi as far back as 2012 now you have to rearrange them rearranging jumbled words ye to aapne bahut baar kiya hua hai bolo somebody has not answered before who would answer today Rearrange. Somebody has not answered before. Raise your hand. No, no, don't raise your hand. Just uh, speak up. Tell me your name and respond. Hello. It's very simple. Hello. It is ironical. It should be. It is ironical that. Complete the sentence. I can't even see you people. So I can't even uh, call your names out. Are you finding it very difficult? It. Mom, it, it is, is ironical the... that a rare species. It is ironical. Hello, Mr. Um, I mean, it is ironical that despite mm. the house sparrow, despite the house sparrow, only despite being Delhi state bird, it is the house ironical. sparrow is today a rare species in yes. the capital. Yes, yes, it is ironical that despite being Delhi state bird, the house sparrow is what? today a rare species in the capital. Yes, today a rare species in the capital. good complete the following statement by choosing the correct option mohammad dilawar is a con conservationist 
such a person is one who who is a mm, ma'am conservation option number d something ma'am option d option number d one who advocates for the protection and preservation of the environment yes. and wildlife option d next yes ma'am choose the option that is not true according to the text not true ma'am option, option c ma'am option a ध्यान से क्वेश्चन पढ़ना मैंने आपको इसीलिए एम्फोसाइज करके बोला भी था तो आपको चूज दिन दैट इज नॉट थ्रू ओके लिस्ट एनी टू पॉसिबल रीजन फॉर दिन इन दिस पेरो पॉपुलेशन तो बताइए आपको वॉट आर construction of mobile towers yes very good or two reasons batane aapne and then there is no for them to pick eat or insects and insects are more prone to fertilizers mm. so uh, there is um, cutting of trees yes and then we have modern houses also which uh, uh, leave a little space for them to have their uh, nesting sites okay then next is the correct pictures of house and then we have uh, mobile towers and we have use of pesticides so uh, all are these all are the reasons correct pictures of house sparrows ye nahi karna aapne okay no need to do this question number 10 no need to correct pictures at all so i think that is all about uh, this assignment also this assignment had uh, come from the department okay and uh, anything else from the chapter that you have from the poem that you have not followed you can ask me no ma'am no ma'am uh, is it clear to you to everybody yes ma'am yes yes ma'am we have an assignment and everything so you will be doing this this assignment plus the textbook questions and you would send them uh, both the assign the both the things to me on my number by thursday 5 pm okay i'll put it in your group also and see uh, we get only one assignment per week the other day. on saturday also i announced this thing in the class that uh, This is not asking much from you people. If I ask you to submit one assignment, this you have to do. ये तो आपने करना ही है ना बेटा. ये तो आपको करना ही पड़ेगा. क्योंकि एक assignment per week तो कुछ ज़्यादा नहीं है. अगर आप school जा रहे होते, मैंने आपको पहले भी बताया था. अगर आपका school normal लग रहा होता, तो इससे कहीं ज़्यादा assignment होती है आपकी. ठीक है ना? तो पर क्योंकि हम एक ही poem या एक ही chapter नहीं करते थे जब normal school लगता है. ठीक है ना हम इससे ज्यादा करते हैं हम एटलीस्ट दो दो करते ही हैं फिर साथ में writing section भी होता है साथ में और चीजें भी होती हैं. So if we are asking you to, we are going very slow. ओके okay, जैसे डिपार्टमेंट हमें बोल रहे हैं हम वैसे ही कर रहे हैं हमें डिपार्टमेंट कंटेंट भेजता है कि ये इस भी ये चैप्टर कराना है तो मैं वही करवा रही हूँ आपको ठीक है मैं करवाने को आपको और ज्यादा भी करवा सकती हूँ क्योंकि मैं आपके इसीलिए ट्वाइस अभी क्लास लेती हूँ आई कैन टेक आई कैन टेक योर क्लास ऑन ऑल द वर्किंग डेज पर वो बहुत ज्यादा बर्डन हो जाएगा आपके ऊपर क्योंकि मुझे भी पता है आपके और सब्जेक्ट्स भी हैं आपके ट्यूशन भी हैं आई नो ईच एंड एवरीथिंग ठीक है और जब भी क्लास लेनी होती है आई आई टेल यू इन एडवांस तो मैं से रोज बच्चे पूछते हैं डू डू आई वी हैव अ क्लास टुडे डू वी हैव अ क्लास टुडे वो उसकी जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि अब जैसे ये पोएम खत्म हो गई है अब आपका नेक्स्ट काम सैटरडे को ही आएगा तो सैटरडे को आपका जब कंटेंट आता है तो मैं सैटरडे को ही क्लास ले लेती हूँ आप, आपकी ठीक है ना तो सैटरडे मंड और अगर चैप्टर आपका बड़ा हो किसी दिन तो फिर तब हम हफ्ते में तीन या चार दिन भी ले सकते हैं अभी तो पोएम छोटी थी तो दो दो बार में खत्म हो गया आपका ये ठीक है ना सो इफ देर इज एनी कंफ्यूजन यू कैन आस्क मी देर एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्क मी अदरवाइज जस्ट वो वांट योर अटेंडेंस पार्ट अटेंडेंस ले लूं यस मैम यस मैम ओके रोल नंबर 1 में मे 